Thank you everyone for joining. Uh, if you haven't taken one of my sessions before, uh, my name is Robin. Um, I'm here today to share with you some meditation techniques. Hello folks on Instagram joining in. Good to see you. Um, yeah, so again, make sure that you're in a quiet space. Today I'm actually in my living room uh, and usually I'm in my bedroom. Just a space anywhere in your house or apartment where you can um, sit down over the next couple minutes and uh, the next 20 to 30 minutes uh, for a little bit of meditation exercises with me. Also, um, uh, make sure that you're in a comfortable position so that can be lying down or seated. Uh, usually I'm seated on the floor with these sessions and today I'm actually seated in a chair and I have my meditation bolster behind me um, to prop myself up in the chair. And you can do that on a couch, you can lie down on the couch, on your bed, wherever you are, just make sure that you're comfortable. Uh, you'll notice I'm looking in two different places. So I've got the Zoom screen uh, straight ahead um, that is recording and will be available on YouTube after. Remember that if you're in Zoom today and for whatever reason you get logged out after the first 10 minutes, you can come back on Instagram Live, but the Zoom room will be locked out. Uh, I've got Instagram over here. Uh, and uh, I'll be looking occasionally back over to you guys. And yeah, that's it. Uh, I always like to say you can play some soft, relaxing music. Um, hi, Jen. Uh, some soft, relaxing music uh, when you are uh, uh, meditating or like I tend to do, you can just meditate in a quiet space with no music. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Looks like we've got quite a few folks in today. So um, sitting up nice and tall if you're seated or getting comfortable in your lying down position. We're gonna begin with our warm-up meditation today. Uh, this is the warm-up meditation that I tend to do the most when I sit down for my practice every day. It's called Samatha, okay? So literally Samatha is just building concentration and being mindful and watching the breath, okay? So through watching the breath, we're going to be naming the action of breathing in and breathing out, right? So relax the shoulders down away from the ears, rise up through the crown of your head. Begin to breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. With that awareness, now focusing on your inhales and your exhales, close the eyes and drop the shoulders away from the ears. Rising up through the crown of the head even more, we're gonna get lots of length in the spine. Fill the belly fully on the inhale, contract the belly fully on the exhale. And on your next inhale, I invite you to Name the action of breathing in, say to yourself, breathing in. And on the exhale, say, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And just continue this. And I invite you today to notice where you might be holding any resistance in your body as you breathe in and out, naming the breath. If you feel any resistance, maybe in the rib cage or the lungs as you inhale and exhale, begin to soften that as you continue to name the action of breathing in and breathing out. Sometimes we hold tension in the jaw, around the neck and the shoulders. Maybe you're gripping through your hands, teeth, maybe through your toes. Each cycle of breath, the breathing in, the breathing out, just soften. See with each cycle, if you can let go of a little bit of that resistance, maybe just loosening its grip on you. So with every cycle of breath, it's a little softer, a little softer, and a little softer. And using that method of naming the breath, 
the breathing in on the inhales, breathing out on the exhales as that access point for the softening, for the letting go. Use the mindfulness that you're cultivating in this practice to really tune in and embody the breath. Feel it move through you. Again, as you let go, as you release tension, we'll take one more round. Say to yourself, breathing in. Say to yourself, breathing out. And then just let go of naming the breath. Just notice how you feel. Observing if there's been any shifts or subtle changes within you. Maybe notice how you're feeling in the body and the mind, what type of thoughts are coming up for you, how the breath is moving through you, are there any emotions that are present, and maybe where you are energetically in this moment. Just taking a couple last rounds of breath here. And then opening your eyes, coming back into your space, into the room, back into the moment, maybe taking a smile and just a couple deep breaths. Okay, fantastic. So that was our little warm up meditation. Again, that's called Samatha breathing. Okay, really simply sitting down, naming the action of breath. And when I practice it, like we did today, I try to let just, I try to let go of any resistance that I'm feeling usually around the area of my lungs, just trying to really get fully expansive inhales and exhales. So I recommend that to do on your own in your own practice, the very first time you sit down. Okay. So, uh, the next meditation that we're going to do today, um, is going to be, uh, a tuning in meditation around the energy of our bodies. So being physical beings, being alive, we have energy. We are made up of energy. Okay. So all of us have electrical energy moving through us. Okay. That's just a fact. Electrical energy um, uh, feeds the heart and feeds the brain and keeps us going. Okay. So um, that electrical energy creates a field of energy around our bodies. Okay. Often it's referred to as your aura, um, your electromagnetic field. And when we are sitting around people, when we are sharing space with people, our energy fields are in their energy fields and their energy fields are in our energy fields. And it's often why we tend to take on a lot of other folks' moods, okay? It's because we are picking up and that energy is affecting us. So, what I want to do today as part of our meditation is to tune into our own energy fields, okay? Something that we're not usually tuned into, something that we're sort of is just there um, that we, we do feel, as I just, as I just mentioned, but um, that we're not constantly aware of. So hopefully after today's practice, you'll be able to um, be more aware of your own energetic field, um, and you can use this exercise anytime that you want to tune into it, okay? So we are um, going to learn a little technique just to energize our hands before we begin, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to flick your fingers like you're flicking water off of your fingers with your thumb, okay? So index finger to thumb, flick. Ring finger to thumb, flick. Uh, oh, middle finger to thumb. Ring finger to thumb, flick. Pinky to thumb, flick, okay? So flick. Flick, flick, flick. Flick, 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 flick. Flick, 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 flick. And you wanna do this with a little bit of force, okay? Because this is what we're gonna do to really energize the hands, okay? So flick, 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 flick. So during the meditation, I'm gonna ask you, when your eyes are closed, to begin flicking your hands. And that's what you wanna do, okay? This technique here. All right. Let's give it a go. So sitting up nice and tall for this one, I'd like you to, if you're lying down, just to rest your hands uh, next to your body, alongside your body, palms facing up. And if you're seated today, I want you to put your palms in your, hand, uh, in your lap facing up, 
Okay. Roll your shoulders away from your ears, sit up nice and tall, close your eyes. Soften the muscles in your face and begin to focus your attention on your breath. Breathing in, breathing out, filling your belly fully on the inhales, contracting fully on the exhales. Maybe noticing your breath as it enters your nostrils, noticing your breath as it exits, and seeing again if you can soften anywhere else in your body that you might be holding tension in. Just letting the breath flow through you, just settling into the moment. On your next inhale, I invite you to imagine that you're breathing in golden light. Allow that golden light to fill your lungs fully from the bottom of the lungs all the way to the top. And then just exhale that light all the way down your arms towards your palms. Inhale, breathing the golden light into your lungs, filling it up fully all the way to the top. And then exhale, just allow that energy to move down your arms, down towards your palms. And just continue to repeat this cycle, breathing that golden light in. Fill the chest, fill the lungs, fill the belly, and then just let that energy move down the arms towards the hands. Continue this on your own, just visualizing it as clearly as you can. Breathing in, breathing out. And as you continue to do this exercise, I invite you now to keep your awareness on your hands, on the palms of your hands, still breathing the golden light in, still exhaling it down the arms towards the hands, but just rest the awareness in the palms and keep it there as you continue to breathe. Just noticing how this feels, how it shifts the meditation just slightly. As you settle deeper and deeper into the practice, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in golden light, Exhaling it down towards your hands one last time. Take a deep inhale, breathe it in. Exhale, let it move down the arms towards the hands. Beautiful. Okay. Now I invite you to begin flicking the thumbs on each finger, like you're flicking water off the palm of your hands. Eyes are still closed. You're still breathing in. Awareness is in the palms. You can still breathe in that golden light as you flick. Just really energizing your hands here. Flicking hard, maybe flicking a little faster for the last few rounds. And then rest your palms back down into your lap. Keep the awareness in the hands as you breathe in and out. And just feel any sensations that are physically happening in the hands right now. Maybe there's tingling, maybe there's vibration. Just noticing those as you breathe in and breathe out. And now I invite you, with that awareness down there, tuned into those sensations, begin to lightly lift your hands off of your thighs, but so slowly, almost imperceptibly, so they're not even moving at all. So you're lifting your hands so slowly that it would seem as if you're not moving them at all. It would be imperceptible if I was looking at your hands right now as you lifted them. And as you lift them, feel your hands moving through the air. Feel the air molecules moving around your fingers like sand falling in between them down and out of the palms. Continue to slowly lift them again, almost imperceptibly, so slowly as if they're not moving at all. And just really tune in to that sensation. 
tune into that tingling or vibrations or anything else, waves sometimes I've heard people describe. And still breathing in, still breathing out, tuning into those palms. I'd like you to just turn your palms to face each other. So your hands are at the same level, your palms are facing each other. And again, so slowly, as if you're not even moving your palms at all, begin to move the palms closer together. And just notice what's happening between the hands. Again, if I were to look at your hands, they would almost not be moving at all as you slowly move the hands closer and closer together. Breathing in, breathing out, your awareness is now resting in between your palms as you tune into the sensations, as you breathe in and breathe out and just connect to whatever is happening, whatever experience is happening for you in this moment. Moving the palms closer and closer together. But so slowly that it provides you space and it provides you time to connect, to engage and to tune in to that energy field that we spoke of at the beginning. Spending a few more breaths here. Maybe your hands are much closer than they were before. And maybe this chance, uh, the sensations have been changing because of that. And then very slowly, still tuned in, you can just wiggle your fingers and bring your hands back down to your lap. Eyes are still closed, still breathing in and out. I want you just to tune in now to yourself and notice and observe any sensations, any thoughts, any feelings, any emotions that are arising for you in this moment. Maybe sitting up a little taller, connecting back to your breath. Now that the, your hands are out of the way and the awareness can shift back to the breathing in and breathing out. Letting go of any tension in the face or in the jaw. I invite you slowly to open your eyes, but not leave the present moment just yet. Still tuned in, still breathing in, still breathing out. Just allow your awareness to begin to melt off of you. Maybe move around the muscles in your face, wiggle your fingers, toes, take a smile, and a couple deep breaths, bringing yourself fully back into the moment. So, all right. Now, usually when I teach a meditation class, I have folks in front of me, and this is a great meditation to um, engage with everybody around their experience because a lot of folks have very different experiences around what they felt happening in between their hands. Tuning into your energetic field can be very different for each person. There are times, uh, even every time that you do it, there are times where I felt like a ball of energy in between my hands or waves of energy. Lots of folks describe a magnetic experience, almost like two opposite poles pushing away from each other. Uh, I remember one class, someone had deep colors moving in between their hands. Like it's a very, very personal experience, but a very cool one. So I really hope that you enjoyed that meditation. It's absolutely one of my favorites when I just need to tune in to my energy, uh, just to really check in with myself. And I really hope that you can utilize that meditation whenever you need it. Again, it's really, really simple. Breathe golden light in down to your hands, really focusing your awareness on your palms. After a couple minutes of that, Flick your fingers and energize your hands. Begin to lift them very slowly after that energization. And then once you really, really have begun to tune into those vibrations and those sensations, you can turn your palms in. And just as slow as possible, as if they're not moving at all, begin to move them towards each other. 
and just experience it and feel it. Okay. Uh, so thanks for doing that meditation with me. Um, we're going to finish off today with another uh, energy focused meditation. This one's a little more conceptual versus tuned in. So um, in yoga, we have um, what's called Agni, which is fire. It's the Sanskrit word for fire, essentially. And that lives physically in our bellies, okay? If you think about your belly and you think about what happens there, we physically transform food into waste and into energy in our bellies, okay? So that happens obviously in a chemical level, biological level, but from an energetic perspective in yoga, we think that, or we say that that is the fire because fire transforms, you burn things in a fire and it transforms it into smoke or into energy, into air. Um, fire also feeds up oxygen and transforms it into energy, okay? So that is our energetic fire, Agni, and it lives here, right? Hopefully you can see those connections and that all made sense. For this practice, we're going to tune into our um, fire energy, okay, and allow it to energize and move through us as we breathe. Are you ready? Last one. Okay, here we go. I'm ready. Sit up tall or be comfortable lying down here. Just rest your palms anywhere that's comfortable. Close the eyes and begin to focus your awareness on your breath. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Taking a deep breath in and letting it fully fill your belly. Slowly letting all that air out of the nose, allowing the belly to contract. And again, breathing in through the nose. Slowly letting all that air out of the nose, long extended exhales. On your next inhale, I'd like you to imagine that you're feeding a small fire in your belly. Breathe the oxygen in and allow that fire to grow. Breathe the oxygen out and allow that fire to contract. So as you inhale and your belly grows, the fire grows in size. And as you exhale, allow that energetic fire, the Agni, to slowly contract. And as you breathe in and out, tune in to that expansion and that contraction of the fire. And like I mentioned, fire is transformative. As that fire grows, allow it to burn away anything that you don't need, anything that's no longer serving you. And as you exhale, breathe out all of that garbage, all of that rubbish, all of that junk, negative emotions, feelings, anything that you don't want, anything that you don't need. Again, inhale, feed the fire with your oxygen. Let it burn away anything that no longer serves you. And then exhale slowly, just let all of that smoke, all of it out, just transforming in a very small and meaningful way. On your next inhale, I want you to allow that fire to grow so big that it rises up beyond your belly, fills the chest and the lungs all the way up to the space between your eyebrows, your third eye chakra. And then exhale, allow those flames to fan all the way back down to the belly. Inhale, draw the fire all the way up to the third eye. Exhale, allow those flames to move all the way back down to the belly. Inhale, draw the flames up. Exhale, let them move down. I'd like you to continue this as you breathe in and out. And if there's anything still left to burn away, these flames can do that. But I also invite you to allow these larger flames that you're drawing even further all the way up to the space between your eyebrows to really energize you for the rest of the afternoon. And then exhale, allow the flames to move back down. And just repeat this. Large flames on the inhale. And exhale, let it go. And just notice how you feel. Notice as you practice this, as you repeat these inhales and exhales, just notice what's happening within you. Notice if there's any subtle shifts or changes. If there's any sensations on a number of levels, physical sensations, emotional, energetic sensations. Just 
Just notice as you breathe in and breathe out. We'll do a last couple rounds here. And then just letting go of any visualizations of fire, just breathing in and out. Just noticing how you feel. And then just relaxing any tension in your face and the jaw and the shoulders. You can open your eyes, move around the muscles, take a smile, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. All right, okay. So that meditation is great to do in the morning. Or it's great to do in the afternoon if you're feeling lethargic. I often uh, encourage folks to do that fire visualization meditation, the Agni meditation, um, when you need energy. Okay, you could do it in the morning before coffee or before a shower, in the shower, um, or again, like right now, just in the middle of the afternoon to give you a little bit of extra pep to get back to things. So thank you for sharing those three meditations with me today, everybody. Um, I really, really appreciate you sharing your time. Um, Cause I know everybody is busy and everybody, um, you know, only has so much energy uh, to give so many burners to turn on as they say. Um, so uh, I'm very grateful for your kindness, uh, your energy um, and for sharing my practice with you today. Namaste.